So this motherfucker is finally done. As a sort of addendum to this guy, I'm just going to show how you can add palettes. It's fairly simple and, uh, you know, not, not particularly complicated. First of all, you need Fighter Factory. I use Fighter Factory free, but you can use other, uh, other versions if you like. Um, but this is the one I like, so, you know. Anyway, you'll notice inside of Black's SFF, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of colors. Um, so, we're going to go to the end. And we're going to click on this little thing. This adds a new palette. It says load from file. Yes. You don't have to put them here, but honestly, for the sake of, you know, organization, I, I do. So, thank you to Kaz for making these. Uh... That's the example. So, we're going to do a couple of things. We're just going to say Zoot 92. You don't have to label them if you don't want to. But again, I like organization. And I like knowing, I did not mean to do that. You take whatever palettes you want to add. And you press enter. Group 1. And then, you input the number that the first palette is. So, in this case, it's 92. So, see 92. And boom. So in order to see those palettes in game, you have to actually go into his code. Inside of config, there is this little nugget, set max amount of palettes. So the idea is later down the code, uh, it's stored at the var 5, right? So whatever var 5 is, uh, it, 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 long story short, right? You set the actual palette that you want to see based on button, right? Up here, that's very simple. And this basically makes it so you can, you know, choose your palettes during an intro and everything will be fine. Because if we quickly go down here, 96. So we'll take you and we'll just shut you into there. Boom. So if I turn this on right quick and press Control M in Fighter Factory if you've set it up. You can just run this in Mugen, it really doesn't matter. Now if you press left, right, up, or down. You can actually cycle through the pellets. And if you go right to the default, lo and behold, there they are. Now actually setting them to be one of your defaults, a little further up, based on the palette number you are, VAR5 will be set to something else, and as you saw further down there, this essentially remaps the palette to whatever one of these is, right? So in this case, let's say I wanted, uh, yeah, let's say I want this one. I can copy the index, and I can choose which button. So for this case, I'll say X. Bring it up. Making a palette is simple as piss. You go into palettes again, and you load in the template. This template has basically every color that you could possibly need for a palette. Like, there it is. So for this case, let's just be mega, 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 mega fucking lazy. We'll keep everything default, and just do... We'll copy everything. Not copy. Uh, if you select a color, and then hold shift, and left-click another color, you'll select everything between that range. So for this example, we'll just fucking do that, I guess. Why not? We press this, which is commit changes to the current palette. So whatever we're working on, and whatever we've done, this will become, you know, the palette here. You can't see it now, but once I press escape, there it is. So once that's been committed, we go over to here, and this saves a sprite or a group as an image file. We just need this one, so it's fine. Current, go to your palettes folder, rename it whatever you like. I'm just going to say 98 uh, Ocean Random. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. All right, there's 98. But yeah, that's how you make palettes. I'll leave a link to the updated SFF in the description. And I'll probably add that link to uh, to the release trailer as well. But there you go. Have fun.